Hello everyone, welcome to Provend a Solution given this nice algebra problem, which is x plus y, this is equal to 20, you can call this one equation 1, xy is equal to 44, you can call this one equation 2. Now solution here, we can write equation 1, that is x plus y, this is equal to, to 20, okay? So from what you have here, let me y the subject of the formula, so that we'll have y, this is equal to 20, subtract x. Let's call this equation 3. Now substitute equation 3 to equation 2, we'll have equation 2 is xy, this is equal to 44. Now let's substitute equation 3, we'll have x time into the, into the bracket 20 subtract x, this is equal to 40. 44. So you'll have x times 20. This is 20x. Subtract x times negative. This is negative x squared. This is equal to 40. 44. Now let's rearrange this equation. We'll have negative x squared plus 20x. Okay. We take 44 on the left hand side. So negative 44. This is equal to 0. All right. So let's multiply both signs by negative 1. So we'll have negative 1 times negative x squared. This is x squared. Subtract 20x plus 44. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. Okay. Now from the quadratic equation here, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 20, and c is equal to 44. Okay? So we can check the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared subtract 4ac. Okay? So which is b squared, this is negative 20 squared, negative 20 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1, times c which is 40, 44. So this is negative 20 squared, this is 400, subtract 4 times 44, and this is basically 4 times 4, this is 16, everyone, okay? 4 times 4, 16, plus 117, so this is 176. So if you subtract this, we'll have 220, 24. This is basically greater than 0. So here, that means we have three roots. Now, let's proceed. Now, to solve for the value of x here, we apply the quadratic formula, which is x1, x2. This is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c divided by 2a. Okay? So let's apply this quadratic formula. Let's apply this quadratic formula. Applying this quadratic formula, let's substitute the values of a, b, a, b, and c. This is negative b, which is negative negative 20, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is negative 20 squared, subtract 4 times 1 times c, actually which is 44, Divide this by 2 times a, which is 1. Now, from what we have here, this is negative times negative, which is 20, plus or minus the square root of negative 20 squared. This is 400. Subtract 176. 4 times 44, this is 176. Divided by, by 2. So here, we'll have 20 plus or minus the square root of 400 subtracts 176, this is 224, divided by 2. So we proceed here, we'll have 20 plus or minus the square root of, we can express 224 basically as 16 multiplied by 14, divided by 2. Now from here, you find that this is 20 plus or minus the square root of 16. This is basically 4 
square root of 14 divided by 2. So this is equal to, this is the same thing as 2. We fact out 2 is common, so we'll have 10 plus or minus 2 square root of 14 divided by 2. So let's simplify here so that we'll have x1, x2, this is equal to 10 plus or minus 2 square root of 14. Okay. So this is the value of x1 and x2. So that means that x1 is 10 plus 2 square root of 14. And x2, this is equal to 10, subtract 2 square root of 14. Okay. So let's determine the corresponding values of y1 and y2 as follows. We have x1 and x2. And now let's solve for the values of y1 and y2. Now, if you recall, we end that equation 3, we end y is equal to 20 subtract x, so that now we'll have y, this is 20, subtract x. So that means that y1, this is equal to 20, subtract x1. And x1 is 10 plus 2 square root of 14. y1 is equal to 20, subtract 10. This is equal to 10, subtract 2, square root of 14, okay? Now, for y2, we'll have 20, subtract x2. x2 is 10, subtract 2, square root of 14. So that means that y2, this is equal to 20, subtract 10, which is 10, Negative times negative 2 square root of 14, this becomes positive 2 square root of 14, okay? So now that means that x1 comma y1, this is equal to, we have 10 plus 2 square root of 14, and y1, this is 10 subtract 2 square root of 14. So this is the first pair of solution. Then we have x2, y2. So we have two pairs of solution. That is x1, y1, which is this, x2, y2. So let's check if this x1, y1, and x2, y2 actually satisfies the equation. Now checking x1 and y1, which is 10 plus 2 square root of 14, and 10 subtract square root, 2 square root of 14. So let's check this. Now, if you recall, using equation 1, from equation 1, from equation 1, we have x plus y, this is equal to 20. Okay? So let's substitute the value of x. This is 10 plus 2 square root of 14 plus y1, which is 10, subtract 2 square root of 14, this is equal to 20. So you can see 2 square root of 14. This simplifies. So 10 plus 10, this is 20. And that means that the left hand side, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So x1, comma y1 actually satisfies the equation. Okay, so let's check x2, y2. Okay, which is basically 10 subtract 2 square root of 14 and 10 plus 2 square root of 14. Now, again using equation 1, which is x plus y, this is equal to 20. So, let's substitute x2 and y2 so that we'll have, this is 10 subtract 2 square root of 14 plus 10 plus 2 square root of 14, this is equal to 0. So negative 2 square root of 14 simplifies here, so that we'll have 10 plus 10, this is equal to 20. And it's true, this is the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay, and that affirms that
the two solutions x1 y1 and x2 y2 actually satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye